not start Monjaro without watching this video. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Dima and today I will be discussing a revolutionary drug in the world of weight loss that has helped a lot of people and it is called Monjaro. But before that, I want to thank all our YouTube family, subscribers, thank you for watching our videos, sharing it and liking our content. Now to the matter of today, what is Monjaro? This is a drug that mimics a hormone in our body called GLP-1. GLP-1 is glucagon-like peptide 1. God put this hormone in our body to help us control our blood sugar, control how we eat. It makes us feel full so that we don't just keep stuffing our face. So now the producers of Monjaro found a way to make this hormone more potent and that is why we have this magical medication. So what is the science behind it? Like all medications, like Monjaro, in this family you have Ozempic, Wigovi, Trulicity, Saxenda, all of them work by activating these hormones. Some activate one hormone, but Monjaro is special because it activates two hormones. And that is the GLP-1 that I told you, and also another hormone with a very long name. It's called GIP, glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. So Monjaro is powerful because it activates both the GLP-1 and this other hormone called GIP. So let's go to the benefits of taking Monjaro. So Monjaro is such a powerful drug because it helps us control insulin resistance for those who have that problem. Now, anything that helps you do this will lower your blood sugar levels to lower your cholesterol levels and triglycerides and these are the bad fats in our body it will control the level of inflammation going on in different systems in your body making you feel much more healthier for those with pcos monjaro will help them control the symptoms the treatment of pcos many times is weight loss so imagine taking monjaro while having pcos it will help you control most of those symptoms alongside losing weight. So Monjaro can also significantly improve your heart function and health by lowering your blood pressure. So this drug is a magical drug. Now, bariatric surgeons have said that the use of Monjaro is as powerful as bariatric surgery. Don't quote me, I didn't say it. They said, the people themselves said it. And this is because when people use Monjaro for up to a year or more, they can lose as much as 22.5 of their body weight 22.5 percent of their body weight so it's a powerful drug and has a lot of benefits now let's go into who should take monjaro the people that should take monjaro are those with a bmi which is body mass index is a figure that we arrive at by calculating your weight and your height together those with a bmi that's more than 30 they are suitable for Monjaro or those with a BMI that is more than or equal to 27 with health problems that stem from being overweight like obstructive sleep apnea this is snoring deeply in your sleep because of your weight so if you already have problems from being overweight and your BMI is more than 27 you're already eligible for Monjaro and if your BMI is already more than or equal to 30 which is you are in the obese range automatically you're eligible to commence this medication. I've talked about the people that are suitable for Monjaro. Now, there are people that are unsuitable for the stroke. If you have any history of thyroid disease, the thyroid is an organ that is in this area of our neck. You see those people with big masses on the neck, it can be a goiter or a thyroid cancer. Please, Monjaro or any of these medications is not for you. For those who have family history of pancreatic problems, that's issues with their pancreas, or maybe you've had pancreatitis in the past, please, it is safe to stay away from Monjaro. Now I know that you have a lot of questions because there are different alternative methods to achieving weight loss. So I'm going to walk you through how people lost weight, medically assisted, over the last 50 to 60 years. So from 1959, most people who wanted to lose weight will rely on pills these are diet suppressant pills weight loss pills in our generation we like to say slimming pills but the active ingredient or component was fentanyl so this would suppress their appetite and they will combine this weight loss um, pill with maybe exercise or dieting 
all the way from 1959 to 2014, then a new drug called Saxenda came out. Saxenda is made of liraglutide. Liraglutide is still a type of GLP-1 agonist. It was meant for diabetic patients, but like we know, the good side effect is weight loss. So the problem with liraglutide or Saxenda was that you have to use it every day. So every day you have to inject yourself. So from 2014 to 2021, another drug came out. We know this one, it's called Ozempic. Ozempic is semaglutide and it was better than the Saxenda because you have to give it to yourself just once a week. However, the pills will help you achieve 5% weight loss. Saxenda was around 8% weight loss. But people were doing well on Ozempic up to 10 to 15% weight loss, depending on the duration that you used it. And now another company called Eli Lilly now came up with Monjaro. Monjaro is tercepatide and that is the latest, the newest guy on the block that can help you lose up to 22.5% of your body weight as research has shown. So that is why this drug is such a revolutionary medicine. It is great. It has all these positive benefits and that is why we are making this video to educate you about it. So if you've watched this video this far, we have a link in our description box where you can book a consultation that is tailored to your needs so that you can ask questions about this product. We have it in supply. However, our patients go on a program. You're not just going to get the drug and go home and use it anyhow you like because there will be another video to talk about the side effects and how to get the best out of Monjaro. So if you would like to commence this program to help yourself to lose weight, the link is in the description box below. However, individual results vary depending on your own basal metabolic rate if you have any existing conditions if you're willing to undergo some physical activity like exercise and if you'll be disciplined to still have a diet plan while taking monjaro we'll be discussing all this in another video thank you for watching to the end don't forget to like it to share it to subscribe and most importantly post a comment in our comment section we love you bye